help us discuss the uh, red hot race to the UAP Final Four. Our guest analysts today, head coaches in the NCAA, Coach Frankie Lim of the Perpetual Health Atas and Coach Jeff Napa of the Letran Knights. Uh, hello, gentlemen, and welcome to the score. Good afternoon, Miko. Good afternoon. Actually, si Coach Jeff, hindi lang to head coach ng uh, Letran. Assistant coach pa ng NU yan. Oh. So marami siyang insights na bibigay sa atin. Unfortunately, uh, yung NU has not had a great uh, tournament so far. But we won't talk about NU. We'll talk about yung mga teams that are uh, really in the thick of the race of the Final Four. So, Coach Frankie, uh, you you are familiar with all these teams. I'm sure nakalaban mo most, if not all, of these teams during the preseason. Preseason, yes. Uh, you're probably not surprised that Ateneo is number one. Yeah, I'm surprised. Actually, they have two losses. Ah, nagugulat ka. May, <laughs> may dalawang talo pa pala doon. talo siya. Yeah. I think uh, Ateneo is very strong. Very strong, very competitive. And they have a good... Uh, foreign guy and plus uh, you have uh, Ravenna and the other shooters medyo kompleto yung Ateneo and it's hard to beat that team it's hard to beat that team especially when you have a Franklin saying <laughs> nagugulat siya they actually have two losses <laughs> yeah. in their uh, in their winless record so for you coach uh, number one ang Ateneo that's that's what you expect yes 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 from the very start yeah uh, I thought uh, Adamson would uh, be in the final four and, uh, you know, first game nila sa Atene, they beat Atene right away. They have a good combination too. Yeah. Ang rumble dyan, yung third and fourth place. You know? Yeah, so yung... Uh, the, like the four or five teams. Yeah, the Royal Rumble, kasi yung number three, looks like Lasala has an inside track on that number three position. So yung Royal Rumble dyan is for the fourth spot. I wish any was part of that Royal Rumble, Coach Jeff. Uh, but the, the teams that are fighting for that number four spot, may UST... May FEU, may UP ka pa dyan. Okay, so you look at those teams, sino doon, Coach Jeff, ang, kasi nakakalaban nyo to uh, as part of NU. Sino dyan yung medyo maganda pinapakita and has a great chance of clinching a spot? Sa akin kasi for me, uh, nakita ko kasi yung UP. So coming to second round, ang ganda ng tinatakbo nila bigla. So naging familiarized na sila. Then especially the Gomez brothers, Ang ganda ng talagang lalo na yung bata. So, si Juan, Juan de Leon, yeah. so nagiging team player talaga siya. Then, especially Bright, maganda yung average na ginagawa. So, maganda yung nagiging compliment. Kasi ngayon, ang FPU kasi nagiging struggling. Gawa nang nawala yung foreign player nila. Nawalan sila ng talagang legitimate center. Then, UST kasi is still young. So, Coach Aldin, maganda naman yung ginagawa niya talaga. Pero... I prefer talaga UP yung papasok doon sa number 4 na dahil ang ganda ng parang pataas yung pick na nilalaro talaga nila. So, yun yung, kaya, yun yung magiging assessment ko sa kanila. Uh, actually, siyempre, isa pa malaki factor dyan would be their upcoming schedule of all the teams. I think UST yung pinakamatindi. Ang uh -huh. bigat ng schedule nila kasi yung parang top 3 teams yung natitira nilang game. So, uh -huh. that's, going to be, that's going to be tough. Um, do you expect, so if let's say in the battle for third or fourth, Lasal could get in, Coach Jeff says, UP has a good chance of getting in. But if you look ahead and parang isipin nyo na sino yung pwede magtapat sa finals, Coach Frankie, do, are you seeing na parang Ateneo Adamson na yung maglalaban sa championship? Well, I think so. I think so. Medyo makikita mo na ngayon. Kasi syempre, if you get the first two spots, twice to beat yun eh. Ang laking advantage yun. And uh, I don't see Ateneo or Adamson losing two in a row. Ikaw, Coach Jeff, sa, sa nakikita mo ba sa nilalaro ng mga teams ngayon? Agree ako doon kay Coach Franklin. Kasi ah, talaga? talaga ever since naman nung summer pa lang, kahit tahimik yung Adamson nung preseason, medyo nakakatakot kasi dahil, yun nga eh, dahil sa, sa gelling tsaka sa system na ginagawa ni Coach Franz, talagang maganda yung nangyayari. Yung summer pa lang, nakita ko na yung Adamson, medyo may inside track doon talaga. Then yung Lasal kasi, medyo kulang sila ng dominant na bigs eh. Nawala yung big man nila nawala first sila. game of the tournament. So, so medyo, medyo may problema. So, ang may shot talaga dyan, Ateneo, tsaka Adamson. Oh, so if si Coach Frankie hindi nagugulat na Ateneo is number one, ikaw ba Coach Jeff, hindi ka nagugulat at Adamson is actually the second best team right now in the UAP? Summer pa lang, hindi ako expected ko na yung Adamson. Nakita ko na 
kagaya ng Coach Frankie na pre-season pa lang, alam ko na na mayroon ng mangyayaring maganda dito sa Adamson na ito. It's a matter of time lang, tsaka timing. Ito nga yung timing ng UAP. Saktong-sakto yung pick nila. So, well-prepared ni Coach Franz yung team niya. Kaya, definitely magiging maganda yung pasok ng Adamson. Kaya, papuntang Final Four. Alright, so that's our UAP discussion with Coach Jeff Napa and Coach Frankie Lim. Pero coaches, di pa tapos yung katuhan natin. We'll just take a quick break. We'll still have Coach Frankie and Coach Jeff. And then when we return, we'll talk about the NCA Finals uh, when the score continues.